Okay, so a couple of people have asked how I get this to work my three phase extraction unit. Which is out here. Here's the three phase unit. And there's a cable there, which is three phase extension. Goes through the wall there. Comes up in the shop here, just through that wall. Simply an extension cable along here, down here, and into this little box here. So when you first buy this unit, it's gonna have in this position here where I've got the remote receiver, it's gonna have a start and stop button, which is how it functions when you first buy it. Then there's two wires inside which you can move, like jumpers. This button being the on off, it then allows a voltage to switch the unit on and off. So it's basically the uh, remote that is switching the unit on and off rather than these buttons and it took me about five minutes to do that. And then I discovered that this would actually sit on the top with the wires inside. Now I put a link for both these units. This is the remote unit, and this is the um, contactor or three-phase starter. And what happens is this here is a 240 volt plug, just to regular mains. This here is the three-phase outlet. And this is my shop three-phase. So this goes in, to there is switched off normally. When 240 volts is added, in here is the contactor, and this is the back of the remote switch. We've got the live going in 240 to remote switch, the out from the remote switch, the neutral goes up here into the wire which was on A1 on the contactor, and I've just put a connection block in, and A2 under here, again I just took the wire off, put it into block switch, and it's gone into the live. And it's as simple as that, giving me a very cost effective, these are about 12 pounds on Amazon for two of these and one of those. I've ended up buying four buttons, putting some on the machine. And that will then, you can press this button here, or you can press the remote. So I was actually told when I was trying to set this shop up that I was gonna have to pay something like three or 400 pounds for a free phase switch. And I spoke to a good friend of mine, the electrician, Neil Lilly, and he gave me the idea of using a contactor. Now I'm not an electrician, so all I'm gonna do is give you the information I was given, um, and you can do with it what you will. Um, it would cost around about 50 pounds, 58 pounds for the main box, and about 12 pounds for two of these. It's a really simple, cost-effective way for free phase switching with 240 volts, or even in the States, you could switch it with 110 volts because it's just a regular power supply with a regular remote switching the free phase. Thanks for watching, hope that's helpful.